All right, welcome back everyone. My name is Rasneesh Gupta. In this video, we are going to learn how we can send money to smart contract. Okay. All right, so let's begin with it. So in this video, in this activity, we are going to do this, right? This is much clearer. But for this to achieve, we have to create a special function for this, right? We already know about the visibility. We, we make use of public visibility. We have tried view and pure both of it. In case we want to make use of a state variable, we make use of view so that the function can view the value of state variable. Uh, we, we, also, we talked about state variable in this case. But the one thing that, that we are going to make use of to make, make this possible is called payable function. We have to make our function payable and I'll show you how. All right, so we are on our IDE, the Remix IDE at this moment. And what we want to achieve is we want to have uh, the, the, the contract would be exactly same. Only thing that we need is to uh, send the money to smart contract in this case, right? So let's keep it as it is. Let's create one additional function and the function name should be um, send me money. Okay. And who is that me? Of course the contract. So I just, I'm just keeping the name so that Sorry, so that we can get the idea. The only thing that you have to, you don't really have to provide something in the parameter at this moment, but just make sure you always uh, make use of a keyword called payable whenever you want your function to receive some sort of money. I mean, any ether, right? So you keep it payable and that's it. Okay that's all it is now how can we verify that well the first thing that we need to do is of course uh, we'll first compile the code and lovely you can see the green check right so the compilation works there's no error now let's go and send some money to our contract so how do we do that first step is to deploy your contract okay so we'll deploy and uh, what do you see what do you think what all you gonna get basically <clears throat> earlier we had one function and one state variable so we had two buttons this time we should have three right one for the state variable that's balance to always check the balance of our state variable in that and double the my, double my money that's our function and this time we have send me money contract. This is the one where which allow uh, which allow anybody to send money to the smart contract. Okay, and how do we do that? You see, we all we have got externally owned accounts which are ten sample accounts, so we can send some money e from either of these accounts. So we can we have been selecting the first account every time. So this time let's select the second one a b okay remember this a b okay from this we need to send some money to smart contract so we define a value right so let's say we send five ether of course in the real world this is huge but this is fake don't get so excited okay so this is uh will not select view uh view away with because is basically a very small denomination very small unit of it and uh, but we'll select ether and the moment I selected the value and define the unit as ether I need to make use of this function which is send money to contract send money to contract but the moment I do that uh, my this account the sample account AB should be sending the money to this account let's see wonderful can you see something happening uh, uh and a log has been generated if it wasn't successful uh the green wasn't there it should be an error okay but it was it states that it was successful 
So this time the from the source was this account AB. Can you see this? You could see AB is the one and um, yeah, this is the one, right? And uh, you can see the two, uh, the transaction given the, um, the transaction was for the smart contract. This much is the gas which was used and the gas price transaction cost as well. And what is really important is the value. Can you see this? This VAL, this is basically the, this is basically, I would say an object on the global level. And in the future, uh, you know, in future video, we are going to make use of it to make sure that, you know, we, we retain the current state, uh, current balance of the smart contract. So we'll talk about this. But remember this, the VAL is something which indicates what's the current value uh, in, the, in the smart contract at this moment. So we have sent five, uh, five way, uh, which is five ether in a way, okay? So uh, that's the case, right? So we have current successfully sent this much of amount. Don't talk, don't think about balance at this moment. Don't think about doubling your amount at this moment, okay? And because at this moment we, we don't have anything inside, so your function, your 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 function send me send me money contract is just ready to accept some money, but then it's not performing any activity, okay? And what exactly it can do? We'll talk about it. What all we can do further into it? We'll talk about it in the next video, okay? Till then, if you have any question, you can ask me in the comment. Thank you.